Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to go ahead and jump into episode 5 of The Mandalorian and just keep right on rolling with this. After this, there's only, what, three more episodes for the season? There's only eight episodes per season, it seems. So I may just over the course of the next day or two finish the entire season and then start season two and then within a week and a half be finished with the entire run so far of what they've made. So in the previous episode, they were on a planet, a, an idyllic type of planet, where it was all calm and beautiful and serene, except for the raiders that keep coming in and, and destroying their crops or stealing their crops. And of course, they found this walker, this imperial walker that they had to destroy. And when all was said and done, the Mandalorian had decided to leave the child, the baby Yoda, I keep calling him, there on the planet because it would have a better life. He would have a better life as opposed to jumping from planet to planet and flying around in space and so forth. But the, all of these bounty hunters have a trackers that can track this child and they're all out to get him. So it's not a safe place to leave him. So when all was said and done, he flew off with the child off to another adventure. And that adventure is what we're going to get into here tonight. Episode 5, Chapter 5, and the, the title of this one is The Gunslinger. So, sounds like there's going to be some fighting going on. Now, if you'd like to see my full-length reactions, you can head over to patreon.com slash 31mike, and I will leave a link to that down below in the description of this video. And I am uploading all of my full-length reactions over there, not just for this, but for my other reactions as well, for the other series that I'm reacting to. And the movies I'm reacting to. Now let's go ahead and jump into episode number five and see what's going on with the child and the Mandalorian. I take it this is another bounty hunter coming after the child. Yep. Uh, he's in a bit of a pickle here. Hold on. And I take it this guy that's after him is the gunslinger. Ah. That's a top gun kind of maneuver. <laughs> yeah, but he's kind of dead in the water there. Yeah, that was a Top Gun maneuver. Hmm. And now you've lost power. Well, at least he's close to a planet or a moon, it looks like. This is Moss Eisley Tower. We are tracking you. <laughs> Copy that. Tatooine. Locked in for 3-5. I didn't remember Tatooine having two moons. Two suns, but I don't think I knew it had two moons. That's not going to hold him. No. <laughs> <laughs> you damage one of my droids, you'll pay for it. <laughs> Just keep them away from my ship. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were in a shootout. <laughs> Special tool for that one. He was. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to rotate that. You got a fuel leak? Look at this, this is a mess. How did you even land? That just set you back. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> that should at least cover the hangar. I'll get you your money. Mm, I've heard that before. Just remember. Yeah. No droids. I heard you. You don't have to say it twice. I'm in. And I'm going to raise you three bolts and a motivator. Hmm. Wait. Grab my blaster. Right. Here comes the child. Stay in that ship if I were you. 
<laughs> I knew he wasn't going to stay put. Something with bones in it. Now here's the plan. Maybe some fried chicken. I am going to look after you until the Mandalorian gets That back. sounds good. I'm going to have to get some chicken tomorrow. I'm going to charge him extra for watching you. Is this the cantina? Yeah. Hey, droid. I'm a hunter. I'm looking for some work. Unfortunately, the bounty guild no longer operates from Tatooine. You're looking for work. Have a seat, my friend. Hmm. Name's Toro. Toro Calican. And that's the seat wow. that Han was sitting in, isn't it? Picked up this bounty puck before I left the mid rim. Fennec Shan. If you go after her, you won't make it past sunrise. <laughs> this is my first job. You can keep the money, all of it. I just need this job to get into the guild. I can't do it alone. You give me the track, Mufop. <laughs> Don't worry. I got it all memorized. Half an hour. <laughs> that should have been a deal Looks breaker. Like you stuck with me now, partner. He likes picking up sad sacks, doesn't he? Or or down on their luck stories. Hey! Ah, I'm awake! I'm awake! <laughs> Where is he? Took me to get it to sleep? Give him to me. Not so fast. You can't just leave a child all alone like that. Hey, Mando, what do you think? Not too shabby, huh? <laughs> what did you expect? Look at Corellia. Ma'am? Well, I guess he trusts her enough to leave the child with her. What's going on? Look, up ahead. Tuscan Raiders. Hmm. I heard the locals talking about this filth. Tuscans think they're the locals. <laughs> Everyone else is just trespassing. Oh, well, whatever they call themselves. They best keep their distance. Yeah? Why don't you tell them yourself? <laughs> In other words, talk is cheap. Oh, there's a couple there. Relax. What's going on? We need passage across our land. Let me see the Binox. Why? <laughs> they want them. What? Hey, what? Those were brand new. Yeah, they were. <laughs> That was payment. Get down. What? Oh. I'll go. You cover me. Stay down. <laughs> Does this kid even know how to shoot? It's going to take off running, isn't it? So is it her? Is she dead? It's another bounty hunter. Oh. He got a tracker. A fob. Get down! Ah. Oh. Bando! <laughs> Good thing he's got that armor. Hmm. Come on. Wake up. Look at you. 
Sleep on the job, old man. <laughs> you done? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just, uh, you know, just, uh, waking you up. Come on. Get on your bike. Ride as fast as you can. She'll snipe us right off the bikes. It's a flash charge. We alternate shots. It'll blind any scope temporarily. <laughs> Uh. Hmm. It's a good thing he's got that armor. Of course, if she shoots up under the helmet, she's the gunslinger, isn't she? Yeah, that'll teach him. You shoot when you have a chance. Of course, he has to be alive to learn that lesson. Getting to Navarro or anywhere else once we turn you in. You know, I really should thank you. You're my ticket into the guild. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, well, something tells me it's not going to be quite that cut uh, and dry well, here. It looks like one of us has to walk. Oh, oh it's been a while. Oh, look, the funds are coming up. Quiet. But there's still time to make my rendezvous in Los Aspa. I mean, it seems like he's calling all the shots. <laughs> Psychological games. I hired Mando. This is my job. Bringing you in will make me a full member of the Bounty Hunters Guild. You already have something the Guild values far more than me. You just don't see it. <laughs> what? The Mandalorian. His armor alone's worth more than my bounty. You bring the guild that traitor, and they'll welcome you with open arms. Your name will be legendary. How can we be sure he's the one? Where it is, he still has the target with him. Some say it's a child. <laughs> he's seen Look, it. If you're afraid to take him on, fear not. I can help you with that. Well, I guess her psychological games worked. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> That's good advice. But if I took those binders off you, I'd be a dead man. Well, that's why the Mandalorian shouldn't have taken that agreement and gone out after whatever that thing was. He's gone back after the child. Took you long enough, Mando. Hmm. Yep, he's got Looks got like the I'm woman and the child. Now. Huh, partner? Drop your blaster and raise him. Well, it wouldn't take much for him to just shoot the guy in the head. You're a guild traitor, Mando. I'm willing to bet that this here is the target you helped escape. You're smarter than you look. Denikra's <laughs> right. Bringing you in won't just make me a member of the guild. It'll make me legendary. Is it? 
There he is. Oh, you hiding from us? Huh? Look at you. It's okay. Shh. Oh, I take it you didn't get paid. Hmm. That cover me? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that seemed a little too easy. Well, that was an interesting episode. Like I said, it seemed a little too easy, though. But then at the end, end here, we saw him come up to that woman, I don't remember her name, that target that they were going after. And I'm wondering why now, or was that even him, or was that someone else? So it's going to be interesting to see what that is going to turn into, how how that's going to play out. And I would assume it'll it'll play out in episode number six. So we've got three episodes left in the first season, and then we're on to season number two. And I'm wondering, is this the child, the baby Yoda, is he going to learn to speak? Does he already know how to speak? He knows how to use the force. We've seen that. He levitated that rhinoceros, prehistoric rhinoceros thing. So he does have the ability to use the force. So we'll have to see just exactly what his other abilities are, I guess, as we go along. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts or observations about this episode, please leave a comment down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thanks for watching and I will see you on episode 6.